The future and livelihood of downtown Minneapolis is a top priority for city leaders. That includes seeing people head back to work in office buildings to drawing crowds while hosting big events. It was all highlighted in the Minneapolis Downtown Council's year in review gathering today. Our Kaya Edwards joins us now with a look at some of the highlights and their vision for the future. Hi, Kaya. Hi, Rena. Minneapolis Downtown Council covered topics like public transit. That overall ridership increased 19% between 2021 and last year. Also, entertainment. That the number of people attending games, concerts, and events downtown rose over 68%. Here's what was said about safety and crime. A celebration of what was accomplished last year in downtown Minneapolis at the Armory downtown. The Minneapolis Downtown Council says new leadership and strategies led to amazing safety results in 2022. Dr. Cedric Alexander was sworn in as our first public safety commissioner. In a video message, Dr. Alexander touted the September launch of Operation Endeavor, which he says uses data to get ahead of crime trends. It is truly a culmination of police and community and a business community, a residential community, everyone working together. He went on to say togetherness will remain crucial in coming years. The council adding that while violent crime rose 4% between 21 and 22 in the entire first precinct, which includes downtown, it dropped 35% in the entertainment district downtown. Clearly this isn't a victory lap, but I think uh, we're on the right trajectory now. We also heard from the new city police chief, Brian O'Hara, and new Hennepin County Sheriff, Dawana Witt. On any given game day, thousands of fans travel to downtown Minneapolis to attend major sporting events. At these venues, they will see sheriff's deputies who are there to provide a safe fan experience. Sheriff Witt says the county is working with MPD to apprehend violent offenders. And the council highlighted the return of Joint Beats, a partnership program between MPD, Hennepin County, and Metro Transit Police. Back to the economic state of downtown. Over 400 restaurants and retail stores opened downtown last year. Today, we also learned a big business will commit to stay downtown, and that was U.S. Bank. Julie? All right. Thank you, Kaya.